Hello everybody, with today being the release for Rancho Del Arroyo on both PlayStation and Xbox, I figured we would go over everything that you guys really need to know to get started here on Rancho Del Arroyo because there is a lot of things that I have learned over the couple months that PC has had access to Rancho and I figure what better video to do on the console release day than a little bit of a quick guide that kind of shows you all the hotspots, the loadouts I like to use, and kind of how I go about hunting on this map. So I suppose the first thing that we need to go over is the different weapon loadouts that I like to use here on Rancho Del Arroyo. And one of the loadouts that has become one of my favorites for Rancho is using the 303 along with the 243, the 22, and then adding in the Kuso shotgun, which is the brand new shotgun that came into the game with Rancho Del Arroyo. And this is a pretty solid loadout because you have the 303 to take all of your class four to eight animals, which in this case is the white tail deer, the mule deer, the javelina, and I believe the bighorn. I think that's the last one. And then you have the 243 to be able to take coyotes. You have the 22 and the shotgun to take the pheasants, the turkeys, and the rabbits. And then you also have the 243 to take the bobcats. And I think this is definitely one of the most fun loadouts that you could possibly use on this map. Although if you are not a fan of the 303 or just don't have it, you can swap it out for a gun like the 270 or even a rifle like the 7mm or the 30-06. Or if you want the most efficient loadout possible, you can replace it with the M1, which will give you the fastest fire rate and quickest follow-up shots. But this map in particular really made me fall in love with using shotguns and it's because there's so many species that you can actually hunt with the shotguns, that being the rabbits, the turkeys, the uh, pheasants along with pretty much everything else if you decide to use the slugs or the buckshot. It's just a very versatile weapon to bring along with you and there's going to be many times that a turkey or a pheasant decides to fly over top of you, making a shotgun pretty necessary for this map. And as far as other items go, it really is personal preference as to like what scope you use. I like to use the uh, Argus and the Hyperion, both pretty much equally depending on the range I'm shooting at. But obviously for this, just choose the scope that fits you best. And then I do bring the shotgun scope along with me also because it does fit on the Kuso, which is a pretty cool little feature. As far as lures go, I only bring the Snortweez color with me because it's like the best middle ground deer call in the game. It reaches out to 200 meters and has a 40 attraction strength, with it, which is a good mix of both the bleat color and the grunt color. Obviously, if you want to call in mule deer, you'll want to bring along the bleat color with you as well. And if you want to get coyotes and bobcats and stuff, you're going to need to use the jackrabbit collar, which is actually a pretty versatile collar. It even calls in the collared peccary apparently, which I still don't understand why, but hey, it's there and it works if you need it. But I think that's really all we have to go over for weapon loadouts. That is my favorite loadout to use along with some alternatives that you can go with if you don't like the one that I picked. But the next thing that we're going to talk about is actually pretty important because I found that a lot of people still don't know this. But basically with the way the animals work when you change the time, in order to get your animals to their zones at the fastest rate possible, what you need to do is set your time to one to two minutes after the latest drink time. So say for example we want to go for some white-tailed deer. They drink from 8.30 to... 11.30 or at the earliest time 8 to 11 and because the late drink time is 8.30 to 11.30 we will start at 8.32 and this will ensure that all of the white-tailed deer will be at their zones and we're gonna go ahead and just switch the time because the first hotspot that we're gonna check out is actually gonna be one that is for whitetail. And this location right here is incredibly close to the starting outpost. You spawn in right here and you can just run a few hundred meters north and you will be at one of the best whitetail lakes in the game. This is also going to be one of the better areas for pheasants because if you go a little bit more north, you will get into one of the best pheasant areas. Now, it's kind of hard to tell exactly where the best range for pheasants is because they seem to be pretty sporadic throughout a lot of the middle of the map. And I have found that depending on the server that I play on, it seems to be a little bit different every time. But some of the most consistent spots that I find for pheasant is just north of this lake and then on another location that we will touch on a little bit later. But here at the lake next to the starter outpost, it actually looks like we might have some animals out here. And we do. We've got ourselves some white-tailed deer. Now, right now, I don't have as many as what you guys would see your first time because I have hunted my white tail herds pretty heavily. And therefore, they have been dwindled down a little bit. But 
As you can see, there is whitetail pretty much at every corner. Like I was saying though, these herds will be much bigger when you play Rancho Del Arroyo for the first time. Mine have been hunted pretty heavily, so they're not as impressive as they once were. But we even have some over here in the trees, and if we were to fast travel over to this tent right here, it's going to bring a bunch more into render because where we were standing is actually a couple more drink zones for the whitetail deer. So once we move out of that area, we should be able to see quite a few more, and there they are along with another spot that's like right over here and we once again have some more whitetail deer so overall it is a fantastic place to go get yourself some whitetail bucks and hunt for the great one if you're into grinding for that this lake right here is also pretty good for coyotes bobcat and bighorn sheep if you come to this location at their times and i will try to real quickly put up the drink times for every single species on the screen uh right now because uh, I'm probably gonna forget to go over them, so I'll just do it all in the editing process But we'll put up all the times there is quite a few different drink times for all the animals And there's a few species on this map that don't actually have a drink time So that's another thing to take into account This lake right here near Bosque Alto is also a very fantastic lake for white-tailed deer You can find them pretty much around the entire thing and when you first open up your map, there's most likely going to be easily a hundred white-tailed deer at this lake alone. Uh, maybe not quite a hundred, but close to that range. And there's usually large herds right here. Unfortunately, like I was saying earlier, I've done a lot of hunting for them. So my herds have moved around quite a bit, but you can find usually 20 to 40 just between these two zones right here. It's quite an incredible location. If you guys want to see what these herds look like when you first open up your game, I do have a guide for Rancho Del Arroyo whitetail hunting. So if you haven't checked that out, be sure to give it a look. It'll show you the potential of these zones when you first open your game up. It is quite incredible the amount of animals that you will have at these lakes. It's honestly the most insane we've ever seen whitetail deer. But they can drink pretty much all around this lake as you can see any place that you see a drink zone here is a place that I have found white tailed deer and there's a few spots that I don't have right now that I've seen them at in the past too. And now we head to the third location that I have always had a ton of luck with for the white tailed deer and that is this lake right here that is close to the Casa de lo Castra outpost. This is a fantastic lake. This is actually where I killed my first great one. I shot it right at this zone over here. As of now, I deleted that zone, but that is the location where I ended up getting him. But you can literally have white-tailed deer at every single zone around this lake. It's quite incredible the amount of spots that you can actually have them at this place. But since this is meant to be kind of a quick guide, I don't want to spend too much time talking about the white-tailed deer. So let's go ahead and take a look at some zones for some other species. As with the whitetail, Rancho Del Arroyo is also pretty incredible for the mule deer, and if you guys are looking to hunt mule deer on Rancho Del Arroyo, the location that we're at right now is by far one of the best locations, and I'm sure it's going to become your favorite very fast. I recently did a video on this spot, and I had a lot of people telling me that the first time they went to check it out, they ended up finding a bunch of different diamonds here from their own map and from multiplayer, and it is really an incredible spot. It's clear up here at, uh, whatever that is. I'm not going to try and pronounce it because I know I'm not going to get it right, but it is very far away from any outposts. So if you guys are going to go up here, you're going to need to put a tent very closely to this location because otherwise it's going to be quite the run to get here every single time. But as you see, we have a lot of mule deer out here on this little middle island, and then we also have a bunch of them across the way too. And we actually recently got a diamond here on live stream from my own map, and it should be on yesterday's video actually. But overall, this is by far the best location for mule deer, and at times I've seen even like 40 or 50 mule deer between the two or three zones that are here. It's quite insane. And for the mule deer, you are going to want to set your time to around 14.32 to get the best results, and then they drink until around 17.30 if I'm not mistaken. And now we head to probably my other favorite location for mule deer, and as you can see right here, there's quite a lot of them at this location as well and sometimes there's even more here than there is at the location we just looked at and this is once again just like the whitetail in Bosque Alto and that's actually a really big level four right there but this location is just right here in the uh, Bosque Alto area 
So it does not appear that I have a zone here on my map, but I see them here very often in multiplayer and the zone is just a little bit down from the one that we just checked out. It's right here. Um, this is also a great spot for whitetail as we showed earlier, but you can also find very large herds of mule deer here too. And I've actually had a couple diamonds out of this zone as well, but it's basically where this tent is. They'll be drinking right along there. And it's one of the first zones you'll see if you run down from the outpost that's right here. There is quite a few more good locations for mule deer, but since we're trying to cover every species in this video, we're not going to take too much more time for them. Let's go ahead and check out the next species. And that next species is the coyote, and as you can see, it's at the exact same spot as the mule deer. And since I just now changed the time, the mule deer are leaving the area, but this is also one of the best coyote spots. I think the most I've ever had here was like 20 coyotes at the same time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well. All right, well, this video is about to take a turn. I didn't expect to be shooting a level nine coyote. You know what? We'll take this guy out in a different video, so expect that to come out soon. But uh, for now, let's just finish up the guide. So as I was saying before we spotted that, this is one of the best locations for the coyote. And you can find upwards of 20 of them here at once, which is quite incredible. We actually did a little bit of grinding for them in a video recently, and I guess this guy is a respawn from that grind. So I'm pretty happy with that. We killed a level 8 during that time, and I'm guessing he respawned as a 9. But once again, it's right here. This has just pretty much been the best spot for every species so far, which uh, makes it a great spot to check no matter what you're hunting for, pretty much. Now for the next location for Kaios, it is once again over here near Casa de lo Castro. This is another fantastic spot for coyotes as well as the mule deer and the white tailed deer that we have already taken a look at, but this location is actually not immediately visible because they are kind of a little bit far up from where I have this tent. But as you can see, there is a few coyotes right here. In fact, I see three of them, uh, maybe actually four. So there's a decent amount of coyotes in this little spot, but as you can see up there, We've got some more of them, and that is the main location that we're going to be checking out today, which is right here. Now that we have moved up a little bit closer, we can now see that there is some coyotes in the brush there. Um, it's going to be hard to spot them, but there is like four or five of them, and this is probably my second favorite location to come hunt some coyotes. Unfortunately, they're pretty hidden at the moment. They're not in the most visible spots, but you can get them right here here as you can see by the spotting icon there so these two zones right here and here are pretty great for coyotes at this lake and I'm sure they can probably be at the other locations too this is just where they're the most plentiful but we also have a few of them directly across over there as you guys can see so this lake is a pretty good option for coyote hunting between this one and Bosque Alto they're definitely the best so next up we have the only colored peccary zone that we're going to be covering and it's this little crater right here a lot of people call this location the bowl but you're going to want to set your time to 032 and then run up here i would recommend putting a tent here though because it is quite the run once again but this location's a little bit unique because you don't actually hunt them while they're drinking you actually spook them out of their drink zone and then watch them just run out of the bowl because there's only one entrance and one exit so they only have one direction they can go which makes this area pretty crazy for hunting collared peccary also known as the javelina let's see if we can actually get them all spooked out of here to kind of show you guys what happens and there they are there is so many of them running out now this location's by far the best for them and there's actually quite a few of them that i have never looked at because i have not hunted the javelina that much so I've probably never seen the majority of these, but as you guys can see, it's pretty wild the amount of them that run out of this little bowl. It's pretty crazy, but it's definitely one of the best locations to hunt the javelina if that's what you are looking forward to uh, hunting on Rancho Del Arroyo. This is going to be the location for you. Just look at all of them running out of there. That is a pretty awesome sight for sure. And now we once again return to the starter lake, but this time for some bighorn sheep. 
because the starter lake is also one of the best places to find the bighorn. Um, as you can see, there's already two massive herds of them, and each herd has a couple decent males in it. Now, I'm not 100% sure what time they are at. I guess we will find out soon once this herd starts drinking. Although, it looks like they're already drinking. I believe their time is like 5.30 to... 8.30 or something like that because they're usually leaving at the same time the whitetail are arriving and it does look like their drink time is actually 4.30 to 7.30 so if you're looking to hunt the bighorn you can set your time somewhere between there. I would probably recommend starting at 5.30 because that's going to make it so you don't have to worry about hunting in the dark and that'll just make things a lot easier. But same thing as with the whitetail, there's a ton of bighorn at this lake and it's really the only bighorn hotspot I know of, although I have not hunted them a lot so that's probably not really saying much. Now bobcat actually drink at a very similar time to the bighorn sheep and I wouldn't recommend sending your time any earlier than 5.30 because otherwise it makes it very hard to see them if you don't have the night vision stuff. But the first lake we're going to check out is actually here in the bottom right of the map. Now, the one below it also has some bobcats, but I don't know enough about the zones around here to cover it. So we're going to be covering this lake right here along with this one right here. And all of these drink zones that you see can hold bobcats, so we'll check out that next, but the first one is this lake, and this is actually where I killed my diamond bobcat, and as you can see, we've got a mythical right there. I actually do have two maxway tracks that I've been finding in this area, so there should be another, but this has been one of the best lakes for male bobcats for me. A lot of the other lakes, like the starting lake, tend to just have females, but this one is always males for me, so I highly recommend this one for the bobcat, and we're not going to run all the way over there, but this this lake right below it, this tiny little pond or whatever you want to call it, has a lot of them also. As for this second lake right here, what I tend to do at this area is actually run along the lake and just kind of like flush all the bobcats out because they tend to never stray away from the edge of the water. For some reason they just run along it the whole time and that makes it so you can kind of bunch them all up from every zone and then when they hit a corner just start blasting them. Uh, this is not the direction I would typically go but when you run down this side, all of the ones at these zones will just kind of bunch up and then eventually they'll take one of these turns down here and you can start taking shots at them. You can also find the bobcats on the opposite side along these zones as well. I would 100% check the entire lake if you are looking for bobcats because this is a great place to find your male bobcats and I've heard of a lot of people taking their diamonds at this lake as well. Now you guys may be wondering where all the zones for pheasants, rabbits, and for the turkeys are. And we haven't covered any of those because there's really only one location you guys need to know about for all of those species. And that location is going to be down here in the very south part of the map. And we're going to go there right now. And I have to say, if you guys only have one tent to place on your entire map, this is the place you need to put it, right down here. Because it is truly incredible what you can have just in these fields down here. Set your time to 7 in the morning and you will find so many animals down here. You'll get mule deer, you'll get coyotes as you can see. Uh, there's also lots of pheasants, I can't spot them because they're kind of far away. But you'll also have rabbits, you will have turkeys. You will have pretty much everything across all these fields and uh, sometimes you'll even have them out there and in fact there's some pheasants right there. I've seen turkeys in that field as well. Uh, you've got a bunch more mule deer over there along with a bunch of coyotes and rabbits. More mule deer, more turkeys. It's truly an incredible spot and by far the best hotspot on the map in my opinion. And as you can see there's a bunch more rabbits. It's truly just an incredible spot. I can't get over how amazing it's been. I found so many good rares and diamonds from this area. And as you can see there's lots of coyotes which a lot of people don't like hunting the coyotes at night. So if you don't want to hunt them in their drink zones at night time then this is probably going to be a good alternative. As well as kind of an alternative from drink zone hunting because you can find so many of the species here during their feed zones and rest zones. It's just truly an amazing spot and by far the most fun to hunt, especially if you're in multiplayer. And one of the cool things is once you actually start deleting zones and losing them, they almost always come back to either the same area or they will go to this other field over here to the left. 
But this is why I say you really only need to go to this location if you are hunting for pheasants, rabbits, or turkeys, or even mule deer. It's such a good spot, and you can pretty much cover all of your needs on Rancho Del Arroyo just in this location alone. And we're going to move over to the left a little bit more because we need to get a better angle of this other field. We don't have a lot down here at the moment for the field to the left, but as you can see, we've got a zone for turkeys right here, along with a little solo mule deer doe. And I haven't actually looked over here in a little bit, and it looks like these are both brand new zones from when I've deleted some of the ones to the right. But if you don't have as many of them as you think you should over in these right fields, then just come over here and check out the one over here, because a lot of times when you delete those zones, they will come over to this side, as these ones did right here. And once again, I'll say it one more time, the best time to come over to this location is 7 in the morning. But if you want to go for Bighorn, you can actually come here a little bit later and you will find Bighorn feeding out here too. If you're looking for the Bighorn, I would set it to between 8 and 9 a.m. and that will give you the best results for those. But overall, it's just a fantastic spot. I absolutely love it. And we'll take a look at the spot one more time. It's down here near La Falda del Rio. And if you don't want to set up a tent, you can just go to it from this outpost or this one down here. And down here is also relatively good for pheasants, along with uh, right above the starter lake through this area, as I stated earlier. And you can sometimes get pheasants down along this road and just above this lake. So there's a few other spots for the pheasants, but they just really don't match to uh, this area down here. So that's why we didn't really go over any of the other. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this quick guide for Rancho Del Arroyo. It probably ran a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I wanted to pack as much information into this as I could and give you guys my favorite spots along with my favorite loadouts and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you all for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss any of the future uploads or live streams. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys would like me to cover next for Rancho Del Arroyo because I'm sure there's going to be a lot more people that want some full guides for certain species or stuff like that. So let me know down below what you want to see, and I'll try to get to it if there's enough people that want to see it. But yeah, with that being said, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.